Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make YouTube thumbnails that are guaranteed to get clicks using an AI tool called Midjourney. Let's get started. All right, so we've got Midjourney open in Discord right now. And if you're new to Midjourney, um, I definitely recommend you check out my intro video first. But we're gonna go ahead and just dive right into it. So we're gonna start off like we always do with forward slash imagine. And let's come up with our first thumbnail idea. So what I'm thinking here is maybe a thumbnail for a travel video to the Grand Canyon or somewhere like that. So I'm gonna say a man standing um, in front of the Grand Canyon with his arms out. I'm gonna say his arms wide. Um, sunset. Photo realistic, hyper realistic, 8K. So those tags I put there, those are just some things that I've seen other people do that are um, kind of helpful for getting a more photo realistic uh, output. And then I'm also going to say dash dash AR 16 to 9. And that's going to set our aspect ratio. Um, which is the height to width uh, ratio for this image. So let's go ahead and send it and let's see what we get. So this looks like a really good start here. So let's click on these and you can see they all look great. Um, we have exactly what we asked for uh, Mid Journey to create. And I'm going to pull up some examples real quick that I found before I started this video. But a lot of thumbnails on YouTube are really simple. These are all ones that I found um, that have probably at least in the hundreds of thousands of views. Look how simple these, these thumbnails actually are. A lot of times it's just a photo with some text and Midjourney is gonna allow us to create the engaging background. And then all you have to do is go in Canva or Photoshop or whatever program you prefer and add some text on top. So let's go ahead and work on another example. So for this one, we're gonna start as always, slash imagine, and let's try something a little different. I'm gonna say a man standing in front of an Airbus airplane. And then I'm gonna say surprised and excited. So we're going to add those emotions in there and then again we're going to do dash dash AR space 16 colon 9. Alright and these are our results here. Uh, you can see very dramatic in all of them. Um, kind of some interesting ones. This one here is a little weird. Um, but I mean, we've all probably seen these thumbnails before for a video just like this. You could have this one right here and it says, imagine something like this, uh, I'll never fly on an airplane again. You know, we've all seen those clickbaity titles and these are all attention grabbers and they all look really good. Um, so all we'd have to do is add some text on top and we'll, um, at the end of this video, I'm gonna go into how to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and create maybe one or two more examples. So um, I've seen like for a lot of music playlists, um, something like this. So imagine, let's say a, a cozy library or cozy, let's say cozy living room library with a fireplace. And this is for like one of those uh, cozy, relaxing music playlists on YouTube. Okay, so this was our output for that. And once again, this is perfect. I mean, you could just put on here, you know, relaxing jazz playlist. Um, so I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to go in to Canva and we're going to make these into some actual thumbnails. So for our last one, let's try something like this. 
Um, imagine, let's say, uh, beautiful tropical island beach. I'm going to say Ariel. And we'll just roll with that. And once again, 16 to 9. And one thing that all of these results have shown us is you don't actually have to write out a hundred different tags. You know, I think that's the great thing about Midjourney version four is you can actually put something pretty simple and get some great outputs. So let's see what we get for this last one. Okay, so once again, some really cool options that are very usable. So now what I'm gonna do for each of these is I'm just gonna go pick my favorite and I'm gonna hit, um, for whichever one it is, I'm gonna go ahead and upscale it. Just hit U1 through U4, this would be U1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm gonna upscale them and then I'm gonna open this all up in Canva and we're gonna add some text to these and turn them into some actual thumbnails. All right, so we're here in Canva now, so we're just gonna go ahead and click on YouTube thumbnail. And they do have some great preset ones here too, so don't be afraid to use these and just replace the images, because that's a really easy way to do this. But what I'm gonna do, um, I've already uploaded my images, and I'm just gonna add, to, uh, add some text to these and turn it into a thumbnail. So we'll start with this one. And I'm just dragging the image in there going to go to text, add a heading, and let's say something like this. I'm never flying again. And I'm going to change the font color to white. I'm going to try, uh, let's see, I'm going to try a mozzaret semi-bold. And I'm going to align this to the right side. Okay, and then one of my favorite things to do is click on effects here and then lift. And you can see that kind of makes the text stand out a little bit. And this is already a really usable option. I mean, this is something that I could see somebody clicking on on YouTube. Um, just to make this a little better, let's see. I'm gonna decrease the line spacing here. And drag that down. But yeah, this is a really usable option. So there's our first one. Let's go ahead and do another. So here's our island. And I'm just going to do the same thing. Go to text, add a heading, and say top 10 destinations. And for this one, I like this other font called Poppins. And I'm not great with fonts, so I did do a little bit of messing around ahead of time to see um, which ones look good. But here, you can do Poppins. We'll make this a little bit bigger. Let's bold it. We got it centered. And once again, I'll do that lift effect. Boom perfect thumbnail right there um, great option for you know travel thumbnail something like that um, this one here I've seen people do especially for like playlists and mixes a lot of times they don't even have text on there um, but let's just do something simple for this one we'll say relaxing jazz playlist
and let's see, we could do another one of these pop Poppins fonts. And let's see, the thin is kind of nice. It doesn't really stand out great, but we could just add a box behind it. And so this is just to kind of give you guys an idea. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not a graphic designer. I just enjoy playing with, uh, you know, Mid Journey and other AI tools. But here's a couple of really simple thumbnails that we just came up with. And, you know, this is for several videos in just a couple minutes. And this just kind of gives you an idea. I mean, you could do a lot more with these, um, but this just kind of gives you an idea of the basics and how you can really leverage Mid Journey to save a lot of time and also come up with some great and super engaging thumbnails. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. I hope that you found it helpful. And if you did, please make sure to like this video and also subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more great AI tutorials coming out soon. I'll see you in the next video.